Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham, and today I'm going to do a little Q&A um, with myself. Is that a thing? I hope so. Um, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick vlog and let you guys know me a little bit better. Um, so I found these questions and I thought that this might be kind of a fun thing to do as I do my vlogging and get more comfortable in front of the camera and just like bring my personality. I swear, I do have a personality and I'm bringing it forward. Okay, so I'm gonna look at these questions as we go. I've actually got my nice little MacBook Pro in my lap and I'm gonna be looking down and just kind of looking at the questions as we go. So question number one, have you ever met someone famous? Um, yes, I have met quite a few different famous people and I usually pretend that I don't know who they are because I feel like everybody else just makes a big deal over famous people and they're just exactly like, they're just like you and me. So I don't think that it's good to make a big deal out of famous people, so I usually just extend my hand and I say, I'm Megan Graham, what's your name? And they probably think I'm a crazy person, but I act like I don't know who they are, but I think it's better than being um, like a super fan or something like that. I think the only person that I would have an impossible time doing that with would be Tony Robbins, but I have met quite a few celebrities. Um, the last one that I met was Larry David. He was super nice and he actually seemed just like himself in person. Question number two is would I like to be famous? No, I would not like to be famous. I like to be known for what I do, but I would not like that feeling of having people always be scrutinizing everything that I do and following me. Um, I know some people love the idea of being famous. I love the idea of being able to fly under the radar and have a private life. So no, I would not like to be famous. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Okay, this is... I feel like this is a terrible one for my question and answer um, because I don't want to give anybody a sad thing to listen to, but basically um, if I could change one thing that happened, it would be that my younger brother died when I was 26 and if I could change one thing that happened, he would still be here and that never would have happened and it would be the best thing in the entire world. I can't change it and I don't want to make everybody sad, but that would definitely be the thing that I would change if I could change anything in my life. Okay, so if I could live anywhere, where would it be? I actually love exactly where I live now, which is in Boston, Massachusetts. I live right downtown, right near the public garden, and it is beautiful. But if I could live anywhere, I wouldn't just live in one place. So my husband is in Aspen, Colorado in the winter, and it is so, so beautiful. Um, and then my family is from New Hampshire. So if I could live anywhere, I would have a tiny little cabin by a lake in New Hampshire so that I could go there for part of the summer. And then in the winter time, I would go to Aspen for an entire month. So usually I'm working so much that I can't get away during the winter, but if I could do whatever I wanted, I would be with my husband in Aspen during the winter time. Number five is have I ever been in the snow? So. Many of you might not know this, but I was a super athlete growing up and I was actually a ski racer So I have been in the snow a lot I grew up in a tiny town in New Hampshire and if you didn't do something outside You didn't really have anything to do my husband also owns a ski shop in Aspen So I spend a ton of time in the snow. It's probably when I'm my most happiest um, Or no wait, let me rephrase that it is when I am the most happy when I'm in the snow and it just reminds me of my childhood and like easy times and not needing to be dressed up and it, it's, I love to be in the snow. So yes, I grew up in the snow. Number seven is do I still have my childhood teddy bear? I actually didn't have a teddy bear as a child. Um, I had dolls and I have a few of my dolls still, but not many of them. Um, I do have a teddy bear that I got when I was 26 and I have that and it's my most beloved possession, but I don't have a childhood teddy bear. Oops, I missed one and that question, I'm already, <laughs> I'm failing at this. This is a really good one. Who would be your ideal partner? Okay, so I don't wanna brag um, or I don't even know how to say it, but my husband is my ideal partner. So I 
feel like I dated a lot growing up and you know I dated all these guys I even thought that I wanted to marry some of them and I didn't meet my husband until I was 38 years old and I didn't even trust that the person that he was could could be real because he's such an amazing person he is kind he's forgiving he is responsible he is so handsome and he has a gorgeous smile um, he's funny he is gentle he's just so many great things all all rolled into one and I don't know how I got so lucky and how he loves me so much but um, I am so lucky because I waited for my dream person and I married my dream guy and we are married and we're really happy so Jeff is incredible number eight is how many pairs of shoes do you have I'm actually not a big shoe person um, I used to wear high heels all the time. I wore them to work at the salon and friends and clients always said, how do you do that? And it didn't bother me for years and years. And then all of a sudden my feet just started killing me because I spend eight to 10 hours on my feet at the salon each and every day. So I still have a lot of high heels. I would say I probably have 20 to 30 pairs of shoes and I don't really buy a lot of new pairs of shoes. It's now my rule is if I get rid of one pair of shoes, I bring another pair in. But living in the city, you can't have endless shoes and things like that. So I don't have the same like constant urge to buy stuff that I used to have when I was young. And I just have like my favorites and I take good care of them. Favorite holiday, beach, mountain, or city? So I would say my favorite holiday would probably not take place in a city because I live in a city. So I I feel like you usually want something that you don't have when it's time to take a vacation. I think a beach vacation would be my very favorite kind of holiday, but I also do love going to the mountains. When I go to Aspen, even if it's not warm there, it's just so beautiful and the mountain life is so much fun. So I, I would say there's a tie between beach and mountain for me. Do I like TV talent shows? No, I actually don't like TV talent shows. I get uncomfortable for people when the judges are mean to them and when people are sort of ripping into other people. So I almost get like embarrassed for people and I have a hard time watching it. I think it's amazing that people go on those shows, but I feel almost like protective of them when I watch. So I don't like TV talent shows. Number 11 is what is my opinion on reality shows? I've honestly never been very into reality shows. I feel like I'm a conservative person, I guess, but a lot of what I watch, I just feel like the people are so different than what, I don't even know how to describe, like what I think is is a good way to live your life. So it's, I, I know they're doing it for TV, I know they're doing it for ratings and things like that, but a lot of times when I watch shows that are on TV that it and their reality shows it just seems a little bit trashy to me so I don't like reality shows oh my gosh I'm looking at the next question and apparently I don't like anything number 12 is do you like scary movies no I absolutely don't like to be scared I don't like that feeling um, my heart starts to feel like it's gonna beat out of my chest and I never watch scary movies I like happy movies things that make me smile, like teen movies are my ideal kind of movie. Number 13 is, have I ever fired a gun? Yes, I have. Um, my father was a Marine and he taught me how to use a gun at a, at a pretty early age. So I do know how to use a gun. The last time that I fired a gun was when I was in, I think I was in Los Angeles about six years ago and I went to the firing range with one of my friends and we, we went shooting and then I actually forgot that they swab you when you go, the, the thing that they do when you go through the airport and they kind of like, they take your hand and they, have you ever noticed what they do to your hand? They're looking for gunpowder and I had gunpowder on my hands from being at the firing range because it actually lasts for I think more than a day. So important to tell them at the airport if you have been to a firing range so that they know. Number 14 is the last film that I watched and I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it was called. It was some kind of a mystery and my brother and his girlfriend came over and it was a really, really good mystery. It was suspenseful but not too scary. And I'm like, I'm failing at this because I can't remember the name of it. Number 15 is, do I like roller coasters? Now, if you look back to my question about do I like scary movies, I feel like that's going to answer, do I like roller coasters? Um, heck no, I never want to go on a roller coaster again in my entire life. And I'm not trying to impress anyone, so I will never go 
on a roller coaster again. Number 16 is have I ever cried at a film? And I feel like when haven't I cried at a film? I cry all the time at the movies. Um, I cry at TV shows. I cry when I'm looking at pictures of my dogs. I'm not saying I just sit around and cry, but my emotions are definitely right at the surface. And so yes, I have definitely cried at a film before. Um, I feel like I just cried the other night watching TV perfectly healthy, right? I just like get into whatever I'm watching. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that it kind of gave you a little bit of insight on who I am as a person. I think, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe myself as a person, but I'm very authentic. Um, I'm probably a lower key person. And although I can talk to people and I am social, I would consider myself to be an introvert, not an extrovert. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you're enjoying my content. Thank you so much and stay healthy and stay beautiful.